Right, hello again. Just about to tackle Ingleborough. Well, when I say tackle, it's still about half a mile off. But it's impressive. And we're just enjoying the flat. Um, if you were literally just behind us, there's trees, there's a pub. Um, that's basically um, a sack it point if you, uh, if you want to sack it. Uh, we can get a taxi back to the, the uh, car park. But um, we're pushing on, it's probably what, quarter past four? It is, time to get oh. quarter to four. Quarter to four, which is good. Uh, let's say we make the top of Ingleborough maybe by quarter to five, let's say an hour. And then it should be downhill all the way to the car park, but it's a long downhill, apparently. This is all new to me, this area as well. So that's what we're tackling eventually. Logs will get sort of quicker. There's some terrain changes just to give you an idea of what's going on. But then we'll enjoy the flat for a bit, okay? Cheers. Bye for now. Right, I feel as though this needs a definite blog. Kev. How are you doing? feeling? Pretty tight at this point. Yeah. We're good to go. This is hard work. Right. I would definitely say, would you or would you not, Kevin, that this is psychologically harder than yeah. anything. It is. This is the end of the road. Last hill, it's hard as 10 men, but it's short. Yeah, so I would say stop often. Literally catch your breath. Don't give in psychologically, just go, right, just I'll do 100 metres at a time then. Yeah, but don't sack it at the bottom, but I guarantee you at the bottom of this you'll think, no way am I going up there. No way, slow and steady, slow and steady. Those are short stops. Uh, we, where we've come, oh, it, it is a path, it's a good path. Yeah, it's uh, it's fairly flat. Oh, I say fairly flat, we're on a flat bit now, but it's, you know, it's good going underfoot. Yeah. Um, but literally, psychologically, just don't let it beat you. Yeah, we're going to go straight up that. Yeah, and then up on that ridge line where they all are, and then we're at the top. And then it's downhill all the way to the car park. I say that, I've not seen it, but uh, we'll blog it uh, as we go up there. Okay, so we'll show you any of the harsh bits, but yeah, deal with the psychological bit first till you get to the steep bit, alright? Quarter past four. Quarter past four. Okay, another quick. Log. We're actually looking up a hill at the moment. Uh, you can see the fence line in the background. Yeah, we're heading off up there and it's pretty steep. Yeah, in fact, that is the level, mm, that is the steepness. <laughs> well, the phone's at about 45 degrees there and we're heading over in that direction there. But uh, the view is lovely, okay? So I don't know whether you can see down there. You can see the where we've just come on the way away we've come quite far and then down in the valley there or just like pub distance there's the pub trees around there that's where the cafe was so yeah we'll push on up to the top here and then we'll do another quick last vlog on the top and some stupid more photos um, and then we'll vlog it on the way down see what it's like on the way down okay all right so last section we're on all four points of contact going up here, uh, which is good because it takes the pressure off your knees. Kev is already up there somewhere. Yeah, but don't be afraid of this one. It's, uh, it is steep, but it's not like you're gonna fall off it. There's loads of, that sounds pretty grim, but yeah, there's, there's loads of people coming up. You can see them coming up down there. Yeah, I hope. Uh, but you're looking at about 60, 70 degree slope, but it's four points of contact to the last sort of section. There's plenty of lean into the hill, so it's all good, all right? So don't worry about it. All right, and I'll see you. Right, quick last vlog. Yeah, it's mega 
windy, but it is all downhill from now on. Yeah, up downhill. Well done. All right, so that's three peaks done. Now we just need three troughs to get back to the car park. Okay. Okay, we're on our way down. Uh, the wind's still pretty biting. There is only one thing that can save us right now, and that is tropical jelly babies. Oh yeah. Get in. That's what we're talking yeah. about. Right, okay. Uh, the path is uh, pretty sort of like this underfoot. It's a bit of an ankle breaker. If you run to the sides of the path, then uh, it's a lot easier. Uh, but it's a meandering path. It just meanders its way down um, and you can see that um, it's just a long slight incline it's not too bad on the legs so uh, make the most of it but take on some take on some jelly babies at this point yeah take on the jelly babies definitely yeah we're not gonna, and uh, and you'll be good to go all the way to the car park all right um, you don't feel ill Oh good. <laughs> good. No, I'm on a bike. All right. Okay. Not after that fucking jaunt, anyway. No, no. Right. Um, we've just kind of rested for a bit, actually. Um, we just kind of sat down and just chilling for a bit. And, uh, weather's good. Um, usual water break. Um, whether it's taking on water or getting rid of water. Um, that only applies to the men, obviously. Um, in June, you're gonna to have to take on a lot of water down here. Literally, um, it's this windy and it'll dry out really quick, and you'll literally just evaporate tons and tons of water off, and you'll get dehydrated very quickly. So that's one thing to remember: take on uh, when you get back to that snack bar, take on some more water if you haven't got any. Fill up water bottles, whatever you need to do at that snack bar, because that's probably the last water stop you're gonna get, Kev. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what you're gonna get. Uh, as I said, disastrous struck. Um, we've got two and a quarter miles to go and we've eaten all the jelly babies. So we're pretty much on reserve tanks now. Um, but two and a quarter miles. It's kind of just slightly undulating and there's a couple of rocks. Your legs are really tired at this point. You just want to get back to the car park, but uh, we shall push on and uh, we should make it two and a quarter miles, maybe. I don't know, half an hour? Five to six. Oh, it's no. five to six now, so yeah, half six. And that puts us at about 11 and a half hours. I think we left about 20 past seven. So we had some good breaks, but um, yeah, it's good. We just kind of, we knack, knees are tired now, legs are tired, everything's tired. It's a long, long way. All right, so uh, we'll say goodbye. And the next time we do this, we'll probably be in the car park. All right. So, uh, this is worthy of a blog, okay? I just think this is a cool feature, right? This particular, uh, I don't know, rock formation, if you like. I don't, anybody who's, um, anybody who's seen, uh, no, I would have said, anybody who's seen Father Ted, yeah? And one of the episodes when he's stood on a deck chair out on a load of rocks, that is pretty much what it is, which is pretty cool. Okay, but there's some awesome features around this walk anyway. A few waterfalls, although there's probably be completely dry by the time we get here in June. But yeah, some uh, nice features. So I just thought I'd show you that, okay? Right, um, maybe this is the last blog, I don't know. I'm fucking tired. Literally, my legs are just screaming no more. Oh, uh, the worst bit was, we just saw a sign for two miles, right? So that was a bit of a killer. Um, we're just taking a five minute breather. It should just be down the hill here, but every time we hit another hill, it just seems to just kind of go on forever. <sighs> it's been wind in your face, literally all the way from the top, honey. Yep. Literally blowing a gale all the way through. So it's like hat on, scarf or freezing cold, uh, and temperatures are dropping now because it's getting to be just after six o'clock. So 
maybe we've got a mile and a half to do but it feels like 25 miles still left to do so um i think this is probably the well it's the best well it's not even but you can't even describe it as the best bit can you no it's like i know it's downhill it's the last bit but it's kind of the worst bit because it just goes on forever all right and that sounds bad and i'm not tr i'm trying to motivate you and tell you how it is you know i'm not trying to scare you off um I would just rely on uh, loads of people around you to kind of try and keep your spirits up on this last bit because between us we are chin strapped knackered man. Literally you can kind of tell. We've kind weary. of we've yeah, weary. I think that's an easier way of saying I've had enough. Literally I wanna get back to the car and get my shoes off and just literally sit in the car sit in the car seat now. I'm moaning now. Right, I'll shut up. Yeah, um, let's say it's another mile. We can see the valley kind of um, just over this little rise here. Um, and it is a, it's is—it's been a beautiful day, hasn't it? Beautiful, absolutely. Um, I would hate to think uh, if this day um, that we do it in June gets uh, hit by rain or something like that, you know, you would literally, that would just kill you. <laughs> yeah, spirit-wise, you've had enough rain-wise. So prepare, definitely. <laughs> Uh, don't give me any excuses of why you're not doing it now because it looks hard. It is hard. It's just long. It's long, but just surround yourself with people who will keep your spirits up. And there's bound to be a few. All right. And get some water down your neck. And we're in the last mile and a half. All right. And we'll see you at the bomb. Okay. tell that I am absolutely wasted. I ain't putting this on. This is I am chin strapped man. That is hard, that's DHB. Uh, I wanna thank Adrian and Judy for inviting us up there. Um, their car's gone so they literally they must have headed back way before um, and also the people who come up they've obviously headed way back uh, maybe through injury or just literally because of the length of that because that was epic. Um, I would like to do a big shout out to Craig. Um, man, if you do this more than once or twice a year, then you, you are very fit, literally. Listen to him, he knows what he's talking about. This is hard, this is really hard. Um, shout outs to um, Spinning Club, yeah. A lot of these, um, a lot of the people from spinning will come here. Um, Kev's just going to get some water. Um, you're all fit enough to do this, no problem. Um, but you will need some mental energy. You will definitely need some mental energy. Like I say, surround yourself with people who will keep your spirits up. You're going to need it. You are definitely going to need it. Um, shout out to Leanne from spinning. I didn't die, so you will get a brew next time round. Kev, I'm just doing a quick vlog. Don't stand in front of me. Come and sit down if you want to. Come sit down for a minute. How hard was that, mate? That was, that was, that was a grueler. I've got to be, I've got to be honest, it was a grueler. We're ready now. We're just going to have a brew. Um, my feet, I can feel the blister big time, I reckon. Yes, sir. Um, we're going to have a brew, warm the car up, warm the car seats up, head back, and then we'll stop somewhere for fish and chips, and then head home and buy foot. I'm glad I put the hot tub on last night. Oh yes, <laughs> that is a must. Because I am dying and there better be a cobra in the fridge <laughs> because I might have one. Sorry any slim and well people, I'm going to have a cobra. And we have had tons of sugar today but it's still not enough is it? No, you need it. You need, need fluids, sugar. Fluids, sugar, snacks. Lots of energy. And mental energy and your legs need to be strong as anything. So anybody who's spinning, yeah, you'll you know, um, you'll use your legs big time today. So thank you, Craig, and I hope you find this blog useful. And I hope anybody else who's gonna be doing the um, three peaks in June will find it useful as well. Hope the rain stays off. 
<coughs> bring a waterproof and uh, listen to your guide because he knows what he's talking about. Thank you very much.